We're here at REIT World 2010 at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City, and joining me is Denny Oaklack, Chairman and CEO of Duke Realty Trust. Denny, how are you doing? Very good, thank you, Alan. We spoke just a year ago, Denny, about some of your plans going forward and how the, the economy was impacting development for your uh, company. At the time, there was a bit of a slowdown in the pipeline. Recently, though, you've announced some new activity. What's changed? Well, uh, as you know, Alan, we, uh, development is a big part of our business. And really, when you look back at 2009 and even t 2010, have been two of the slowest years since we went public back in 1993. But now the good news is activity does seem to be picking up. Uh, we actually signed during the third quarter of this year our first new industrial build to suit project in almost three years. So we're pleased. I think the economy is getting better. It's getting better a little bit slowly, but it's certainly getting better. And we're hoping that the activity on the development side, again, continues to improve and uh, looks better going into 2011. And you also held a stock offering this summer, generating about $270 million in fresh capital. What's on tap there? Well, we did. Uh, we uh, were able to access the capital markets and do a common offering. And we're very pleased with that. And we really had a use for the proceeds at that time. Uh, this summer, we purchased our 50% partner's interest in an entity we called Dugan Realty, uh, which consisted of about uh, 20 million square feet of industrial property. So uh, we purchased out their 50% interest, and it was about $300 million. So we really used uh, that capital to make that acquisition, which we're very pleased with. And, Denny, we're on the cusp of 2011. What are some of the big challenges from an operating standpoint for Duke Realty going forward? Well, I think 2011 is going to be still a challenging year just for the fundamentals. Uh, the economy is, as I said, beginning to improve, but we still have a long way to go. When you look today at the unemployment rate still hovering well over 9%, that's putting a drag on our suburban office business a little bit, and it's uh, also... Uh, that reflects a slowdown uh, with consumers since uh, there, there's a number of people without jobs. The retail spending is still down somewhat, which drives our industrial business. So I think when we look forward, we, we expect things to continue to improve somewhat in 2011, but we don't think we're going to be out of the woods entirely, and there's still going to be some economic pressure uh, just with what's going on in the economy. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time, Benny. Thank you. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, as well as more news from REIT World 2010, check out REIT.com. I'm Alan Kenny.